Hey everyone, shell casing kid again. And I'm back in the woods. It's Sunday and everyone else is watching football, but I'm gonna see if I can save a little history. It's getting an 8990 signal with my AT Pro here and I think I have a silver coin right there. If it's silver, it's a Washington. Feels nice and heavy for a quarter. Oof, just got it by one year. That is a silver quarter. All right. It's like the fourth hole I dug today, so. Might be off to a good start. Okay, I got a lead sinker right here. This was a really nice signal. Still has some fishing line attached to it. One ounce. Because there's a pond right there. And another sinker right there. And another sinker right there. And another sinker. This one looks like an older version. uncovered a coin. It's a very, very thin coin. Coming up as a 77. Oh my god, it's nickel sized. It's out of shape too. Super thin. Anything? see it maybe you guys can well, I think I may have just found a murder weapon that was about five inches down in this hole that is nuts it's a big old knife I'm gonna hope it was for somebody fishing They had wood grips at one time that rotted off. But that's a big knife. Yikes. Murder. This is a great find, and um, I haven't found one of these in a long time, so it was close to eight or nine inches down there. I had to do a couple shovels full. Um, where is it here? here it is. That is. Yeah, 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 it's an ox knob. Oh, that's so awesome. That is a really cool artifact, an ox knob. It would go on the end of an ox's horn and then they would pin it in place and it would keep it from goring other oxen or people. Some of these are threaded on the inside. This one looks like it might be. Ah, uh, awesome find. Sweet. I look like I have something interesting here. Just came out of that hole right there. Yeah. It's just like a salt shaker lid. Alright, keep my streak uh, alive for another week. It's small, but it counts. It's a tiny little toy gun. It's like a Derringer.
That is a neat find. <laughs> yeah. It says some stuff on it too. That is so cool. It's like a little one shot. I wonder if this is a real gun. It's heavy enough to be. Have to clean it up. Well, it might be a cap gun, but now I'm thinking it might be a real gun. Like, you know, a little one-shot Derringer. That is so cool. Maybe it's not a cap gun this time. A knife, a gun, jeez. These woods were dangerous back in the days. Okay, I found a two-part button right here. That's the back side of it. I can't figure that one out, but All right here's a pocket knife someone dropped a long, long time ago. Grips are almost beat. Actually, they are beat. Brass ends. I keep looking. Okay, here's a little buckle that popped out. This is coming up as an 84 on my AT Pro. Brass with a steel tongue. To go find. Oh, it has that loop too, I think. On the uh, tongue. Here are the finds for this week. Let's start with the more common stuff the salt shaker, the um, pen knife, and then this is this is threaded. I don't know what it threads onto, but it looks like a salt shaker. I thought it was. Um, Maybe like a button. Okay, then we have in the second row, the buckle. We have all the lead sinkers, and it's always good to get lead out of the ground. But this one is an unusual shape. I've never found one that looks quite like that. Um, and the ox knob, awesome, awesome find. Really happy with that. It's only my fourth ox knob that I've ever found. And I thought it, thought it was threaded, but it's just got lines on the inside. They're all uh, parallel to one another, so... That's probably just to increase uh, the grip on the ox's horn, but neat old find. Okay, coins. I have uh, I found two wheat cents. One is in 1944, and one is a 1948. I did find silver, the very first find that's in the video, 1964, last year for a Washington silver quarter. Or should I say a silver Washington quarter? And then this, I thought, it, I kept saying it was nickel size in the video, but it's not nickel size. It's actually larger than a nickel. It happens to match up real nicely with a half cent, and I'll show you. I found this half cent last year. It's a draped bust 1805 half cent. And look what happens when I put that find right over top of that. It matches up in size really nicely with a half cent. So, I think I might have found a half cent, a really well used half cent, that I can't get any identification off of. That's what I'm going to call it. Then that gets me to the weapon. There's, there's, there's no way you would carry a knife like this through those woods unless you wanted it as a weapon. This has an 8 inch blade on it. At one time it had a wooden grip, but th this is nuts. I've never found a knife that's as large as that so I think I might have found some kind of weapon um, that someone left behind maybe for a reason maybe not maybe they dropped it but 
Uh, that's kind of a scary find. And then finally, the little, this is a cap gun. You can tell from the seam lines, but a neat cap gun. It's like shaped like a, it's a, like a Derringer type. The hammer still works on the spring. I can't get the trigger mechanism to work, but this is a really cool find. And this is the uh, fourth cap gun I found in uh, as many weeks. So, um, but this one's definitely the coolest. So I'm going to make this the find of the week. And um, that's the wrap up. Make sure to check out my video next week. And until then, always be looking down.